Super Smash Bros. is a series of fighting games that's been a global success for more than 20 years. And with millions of people playing the games around the world, some passionate players take it a step further, organizing events and tournaments to bring fans together to share their love for the game, even right here in Melbourne. My name's Jack Gorman, and my tag is Mollusk Wedding, but some other people might know me as Pudge. I had a lot of Italian friends in high school, and uh, I used to be a lot fatter. So they used to call me uh, Puccinelli, which apparently means my little chicken. I never actually fact-checked that, but uh, yeah, we shortened it to, from Puccinelli to Pudge, and that's how I got it. Honestly, like you can go back as far as 2003, right after Melee sort of came out. I think that's really the inception of the Smash scene in Melbourne. But as it is right now, I'd say 2014, because that's where most of the players that play now started. It started at an old tournament we had called SAS, which was Smash at Swanston. And I realized that, you know, there weren't enough setups, there weren't enough TVs. So I just started bringing my spares. And from there, it just, it was like a snowball. You know, it's, it goes from bringing TVs to bringing setups, to organizing the Facebook events, to organizing a Facebook group where everyone talks, to organizing monthlies. And it just somehow five years later, I've ended up here. So how I got my tag is from back in 2010, when I was in primary school, I used to attend after school care. And one of the person, one of the, one of the people there who was running it, they used to call me Jay Dizzle, cause I guess it's a play on my name, Jonathan Douglas, um, Jay Dizzle. So back when I was thinking of my first Xbox gamer tag, I came up with Jay Dizzle 203, 203 being my birthday, the 20th of the third. Um, and I decided when I went to my first Super Smash tournament, I'll just call myself Jay Dizzle, and ever since then it's stuck. So I saw an ad on Facebook for a Super Smash tournament, and I thought I was like awesome at the game. I've been playing Super Smash my whole life. I just thought a tournament had a perfect opportunity. I should be able to beat some people. Um, and I ended up going 0-2 in my main game, Smash 4 at the time, Smash 4 Wii U, but I won a game in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Um, but I just attended because I thought I was good at Super Smash. I play Smash nowadays just about every day. I usually try to get in 30 minutes minimum a day. Just kind of refining everything, making sure I'm fresh. And I'll try to do a few sessions a week with friends, um, a few hour grind sessions, and I'll attend a tournament Monday, Tuesday. But I try to aim for at least 30 minutes a day minimum where I can. So the people who organize tournaments it, it really depends. Couch Warriors is the main one. That's who I've been working with um, for the last, you know, five, six years. We run all the big tournaments. We run EBS um, in the city. We've run probably 20 different tournament series over the last six years. If it's not with Couch Warriors, it's a store, like a card game store or a bar that's like gamer themed that wants to bring in customers. There's generally like two or three weeklies a week. There's two monthlies currently. There, there was a time in Victorian Smash history when there was something insane, like five weeklies a week, plus like three monthlies, plus like two majors. So there was like so many tournaments. I don't know how I was organizing all that because I feel like I, I currently only really organize one tournament a month and I feel like that sends me spiraling when I have to do any work for it. You know, different events will have a different atmosphere about them. In the same way that you wouldn't rock up to an under 16s first round footy match, you know, screaming your heart out and, you know, telling people to do better, you know, you wouldn't bring that much energy to a weekly event where the stakes aren't that high. At a major, super serious for most people. Um, for half of the people, it's a chance to meet up with their interstate friends. For the other half, it's sort of to prove, you know, the three or four months of practice that they've put in has something to show for it. But at the weeklies, it's a bit more lax. People are grabbing drinks, having a laugh. Um, and then at more the monthlies and the majors, they're a bit more serious. As a whole, as a community though, I think our defining trait is sort of our laid backness. Um, I think we're a very easy crowd to sort of get to know, which I'm really happy with. So the culture at these events depends on the event themselves, I think. As on Monday Pixel, it's a very more relaxed, fun event because it's at a bar. I think it's just people hanging out in group sort of thing, whereas EBS, our Tuesday event, is uh, it feels a bit more serious 
So the culture is a bit of a mixture, but I definitely feel like there's a good balance between you know, strong, wanting to do well, serious sort of vibes, but I think there's also the nice balance of, you know, being relaxed because people have their group of friends there. I definitely find some people focus more on the social aspects of things. They might not have the same drive for the game as what others do. And for those people, if they enjoy coming to events to socialise and play Smash as more of a side thing, then that's what they do. And there are definitely people who do that. But some people are definitely more competitive driven. They love the game, they love competing. You know, they kind of just want to test their skills out. So you'll definitely find people who are much more in it for the social side and you'll definitely find people in it for the competitive side. It's more about your preference, but I think either or perfectly works when it comes to a Smash tournament for sure. People are always happy to have a chat with a new person, try to get them involved, because I know it can be very nerve wracking for a new person to attend a tournament in an already established scene. So I, I definitely see people go out of the way to have a chat or you know they're having a chat with a newcomer. Um, they're more than welcome to have them in. We love having new people in the scene, love accommodating them. It's a bit hard starting Smash-wise, it's always a bit tricky. Um, the players here are very good, so you might struggle a bit at the start, but I definitely think people are very welcoming and encouraging to newcomers and I'd recommend them all to give it a go. I've always thought the main thing that makes people come back is depending on how long you've been in the scene. I think if you're new, the main thing is the dream of being like a top player and like going to international tournaments and winning them and sort of the, the fame, right? At least it was for me. I might just be a bit ego, egotistical in that. Um, but as you sort of spend more time in the scene, you realise that the most important part is definitely like the community. Like just being able to have like a place where not only can you meet up with your friends every week, have a good time and hang out with, without really worrying too much about organising at all. You can also meet like really awesome new people as well. Like I've met so many new people from Smash that it's insane. You know, like I'd say 90% of all my friends are smashers, right? So like, if you told me like, hey, all your friends are gonna be at this bar on a Tuesday night, I mean, you'd have to go, you know? You don't wanna miss out, you don't wanna get FOMO. So I think, yeah, definitely for me, it's the social aspect. I think the biggest benefit I've gotten from Smash, to be to be quite honest with you, I, I'm I've always been like a very privileged person, right? Like not not in you know a snobby way. I'm just saying that I grew up in Hampton and I went to school in Turak, so I had a very limited bubble of exposure outside of a certain type of person. So coming into the scene, it was definitely a very big culture shock for me to see people of all different faiths, ethnicities, orientations, in whatever sense. And it really pushed my understanding of the world, which I think allowed me to meet a lot of people I never would have. And I would have sort of stayed in my own bubble and not been exposed and not have grown as much as a human being. So I think that's the most important thing I've got now, Smash. I'd like to see the scene grow and develop by just seeing more new people come into the scene and I'd love to see more people motivated and really working hard. I feel like it's really motivating for me when I see all these maybe low, mid-level or even high-level players really working to try their best. I love people you know, sharing their passion with the game. I really love people working to do their best and so I really hope the scene grows, our events get bigger, we have maybe you know, more monthlies or stronger monthlies, you know, even a major here and down the line, some more majors. But I would just love to see the scene get bigger and more people get you know, motivated to improve at the game and just enjoy themselves at events for sure. And that's what we, have, what we want at the end of the day, people to come in and enjoy themselves at the events. But definitely I'd love to see people with a drive to become the best they can be because I find that always fascinating in my eyes. I'd honestly like it to just be a place where new people are really welcome and we just grow. You know, we are, that, that we're just a family that keeps getting bigger, I guess, and that people can find a bit of solace even when coming to our events. It's gotten tougher now that I'm working full time. I don't know how people are adults and still have, attend things after work, but 
I'm going to find a balance hopefully and, and keep doing this for a pretty long time, yeah.